Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to defrag your hard drive and keep it maintained using IOBits Smart Defrag. So whenever you finally go to the defrag page, and of course you have to come up here to the performance and click on the Start Defrag, click on the free download button. This is version 4.3. It's a pretty small application. It's going to take you to Major Geeks for the download. That's no biggie. Pick one of the two download mirrors, click on it, and your download should start shortly. Once it comes up for the opening Smart Defrag Setup EXE, click Save File. And of course, this is Firefox, so it automatically comes to a little blue arrow over here. Just click on that little arrow. Click on the file you just downloaded and then click run. The installer will generate a user account control pop up. That's fine. Just click yes. And as you can see, it's given the option for advanced system care. We're not going to install advanced system care. We already did that in a previous video. Deselect that if you don't want it. If you already have advanced system care installed, you're not going to see this option right here. So I'm going to go to install options to show you this. It will create a desktop icon and you can change where it's going to install to. So just click accept and install. Here's where you're going to want to click skip. Deselect yes I agree to install my PC backup and click on the skip right here. That is an add-on that you really don't want. Um, a lot of times it will be flagged as a potentially among program by your spyware scanners and stuff like that so you really don't need it and you don't want to install it once you get to the installation complete click give up my gift and you're done smart defrag starts up and runs all right now that you have smart defrag up the thing we have to do is configure it and run the first defrag to run the first defrag it's really not difficult we're going to do the configuration first so you're going to want it to do automatic defrag on all hard drives. So all hard drives that are listed right here, make sure you select automatic defrag. On your primary drive where the operating system is installed, click boot time defrag. And on either one of these two, you can select the little settings icon off to the side. It doesn't show up until you highlight over it or float over it with the mouse. So you want it to pause automatic defrag. I normally set that to anywhere between 80 and 90%. And I don't want it to start until the idle time reaches about 10 minutes. Go to the Smart Defrag. Turn that on. On the I Action drop down, you can defrag and fully optimize or defrag and prioritize. Prioritize does a much better job, but it can be very, very slow. I generally do a defrag and fully optimize. It's optimum for performance reasons if you want better drive performance every time you can do the defrag and prioritize and then come down here make sure all the drives are selected come down here to the schedule click configure generally you only need it to do this once every month so I always tell it to do it once every month on the first at 10 p.m. you can also change this option to a.m. if you're generally up and around and going to be using the system if you're a night owl and you want it to do it during the day while you're asleep so once you have these set just click OK go to your boot time defrag and I always bump this out to where it runs once every two weeks click apply click OK and you have officially configured your automatic defrag that will keep the system maintained over a very long period of time generally the major analyze and defrag you only have to do one time and that's whenever you do the very first install so it's going to ask whenever you do the first run do you want to clean the junk sec yes and as you saw i selected the clean and fully optimize so now it's going to scan do the analysis red is supposed to indicate fragmented green or files that are congruent and consecutive and then it starts grabbing the file chunks and writing them where they need to be and defragging the drive you also have the option over here that you can tell it to shut the system down once the defrag completes 
my system generally I don't want it shutting down immediately after so I no I don't bother selecting that you can if you want to it's entirely optional once it's actually done it'll go back to the main page and give you a little bit of an analysis of what all was done you can come back to this page right here this main tab and it'll also show you the percentage of the drive space that you're currently using so this is another way to keep up with how much hard drive space is used on each drive in the system now you have the game defrag you can add in games where it'll defrag the game keep the game performance up and then you also have your boot time defrag which we've already configured I always use boot time defrag it's very very handy and then of course you have the action center which will give you the other IO bit applications and tell you if they need installations or updates you can run them from here or update them from here or even get them if you don't already have them that's pretty well it for smart defrag it's a really good program it does run in the background at all times you can identify it by that little icon right there Smart Defrag 4 does a very good job of keeping the system maintained. It does its automatic defrags when it's supposed to. It starts up with the system like it's supposed to. And it also, as you download files and stuff, it'll automatically defrag those files as it's writing them to the drive. And make sure it writes them all in a consecutive order. This information is out there for absolutely everybody as always. Watch, like, and share. And have a great day.